today I'm gonna be showing you how to get like your 808s in key mostly every single time with the exception of like the loop you get does not have a base in it you're gonna have to figure out a different way just use your ears but this is how I got a lot better at just figuring out like what sounds right and stuff and uh I'm gonna show how I do it now listen to it listen to the loop I'm listening for two things. What do I think the chord progression is? And I'm listening to see if it has a bass in it. If it has a bass in it, you're in good you're in good shape to kind of figure out and get these notes right. Because we're gonna use uh Edison and Edison what Edison does is that it analyzes one note, and I'm not specifically sure how exactly it does it, and it's not 100% accurate, but it gives you a good foundation, and it'll at least get a few of the notes right, and in most cases, it's going to get the notes right, so like in this case, for this loop, I said it's an A minor, so I'm going to go and find it in the stems of the loop where it where the bass is and i think that's the bass right there it's going to play for the these eight bars and then so what i do here is i go up and i grab the slice tool and i put it on bar and then once i have the slice tool i hold shift and that allows it to slice like on a uh a line instead of it just being like this and you really have to like these I don't know but I hold shift slice it right there and I slice it right here once I've done that I listen to it and make sure I got the right sound again and then I select it with the I guess this is the selection tool and on Mac I don't know what it is on uh, Windows or PC but you press command option C and this is going to render it out. And I like to do that just so it's you have that alone. And when you're going into Edison, it doesn't select uh, the whole thing. It just makes it nice and easy to see what notes that you're dealing with. Okay, so once you, ha once you press Command Option C, it should come out like this. And then you want to double click on it and right click on the sample right here and press edit and audio editor and because Edison analyzes for one note and most of the time when you're making these loops you're not using you're not layering bass notes usually it's just one note uh, in that case that that one note follows the root pattern of the root notes and it's basically, think of it as like the map for where the 808s are supposed to go. Uh, or that's what I think of it as. And if you press this right here and you go to detect pitch regions, it's going to tell you these, the root notes of the melody. So if I listen to this here. So now, we want to add our drums. Here, we want to add our drums, and we want to make sure that those notes are the correct notes. And how we do that is that I look and I see I have an A and F and A and F. So I go and grab a drum. Let me go grab...
Let me go grab an 808 and I have to test to make sure these notes are the correct notes. Because sometimes Edison does get notes wrong. So you always want to test and make sure before you just trust it. Uh, so I said A and F. And then on the last note, it said it was going to be a G right there. So we're going to put a G right here. And if to make sure to even check even more, uh, you can drag on a scale or just set it up through here. And this this pattern does work. It does fit inside the scale. Like sometimes if Edison's wrong and the person who made the loop said, it's in D minor, and you've done this step, gotten to here, and you drag on the scale and realize one of your notes is out of the scale, then that note is probably off key, and you just have to figure out what note that is and just use your ears. But if we just use our ears and listen, And that sounds good to me. So once we have that there, we want to drag it back over. And since the bass is playing here at the beginning, I'm just going to go and cut the bass out using EQ. That's how we go. Let me turn this a little bit. key you can do whatever you want with the beat to the mixer.
probably going to do it for today. Thanks for stopping by. And make sure you check out the kit that's going to try put put a lot into it. It's got like 61 sh or it's got like 41 shots, 60 loops, a bunch of middies, a uh, bunch of cool ass shit. So I'll plug that in the description.